Hi everyone, Heather Mahalik here with another Tip Tuesday. This week I want to focus on finding similar images within Celebrate Analytics and why it's important. The first thing I'm going to do is switch into gallery view and you can tell that I have Josh Hickman's public Android image loaded here. So if you want to try this, you too can get a demo of analytics and follow along. But let's say I'm scrolling along through my images and I find something that looks like a chat. Um, sometimes these screenshots on Android and iOS devices may be the only glimpse you actually get of that chat application, especially if it's encrypted and it's not capable of being decrypted. What we can then do is you could tag this chat. You can also zoom in, zoom out, and do whatever you want to read it a little bit better. But I want to choose load similar images, which we can see right here. And when I do this, what you're going to see are images loaded across the bottom that Celebrate Analytics deems is similar to that image. And some of them are spot on. So you can see on the right, Josh Hickman is chatting with I'm a person. On the left, we see the original Josh Hickman chat that we were looking at. And as you scroll through, you will see here, this looks like a chat thread, possibly from Twitter. You're getting more chat threads from Twitter. You may get notifications. So it's anything that essentially appears to look or have something in common with that initial graphic. Now you'll see here, you may have something like this. And if you look closely, what I believe happening here are these boxes that look similar to a chat message. So clearly there are things that will be false positives, but if you like it and it makes sense, you can simply tag it and say it's important and apply. And if we go back to our second one, which we'll pretend this is relevant to our investigation, we check that and we do a important and then you can simply just go back to your investigation and continue on your way.